Hello my little travellers, it's time for another diary entry and this time I bring you Jordan bucket list, that is all I will say. But first, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already as it really, really helped me out. Thank you. Anyway, Jordan is predominantly an Arabic country nestled in between Israel, Syria and Saudi Arabia. And although you may not think it is, it is a very safe place. I got an Uber to my hostel from the airport. It was late, the streets were alive. However, I was straight to bed as I wanted to be fresh for the morning. I don't know necessarily if I'd recommend the hostel I stayed at, but I do recommend the place that I went for brekkie. Zajal was really quaint and there were a few locals eating here which I always look out for. It was overlooking the street as it started to get busy with the markets and I ordered a fresh pomegranate juice as well as a cheese and thyme manakish. It's also like bright yellow. After gobbling that down, I went to explore the streets. It was lovely weather. The sun was out, but it really shocked me. Jordan was so, so cold. So definitely check the weather when you come because I was not wearing the right stuff. I found the souks, which is where you can find anything, perfume, food, souvenirs, clothes, ornaments, you name it. They have it. And honestly, I spent so long just wandering around. To be honest, in this downtown souk area, that was probably the place that was a little bit more intense, having to say no all the time to the street vendors. The old view cafe literally saved me because i went there grabbed a tea and just relaxed after the prior madness before heading to rainbow street here you're gonna find loads of cool cafes street art quirky shops and lots of colorful and wonderful things these bright hanging basket light things belong to majana restaurant don't be fooled it looks pretty but i had an abysmal taco salad so after that disaster i went to another rooftop bar district where I ate more and this time it was actually pretty good. I honestly swear this vlog is going to be pretty much just what I ate. Back to breakfast now. Next day it was rainy and I found another cozy heated balcony to wake up on. Then just went to walk around some more before going for lunch at Najao's family restaurant. Oh my god guys, this is an absolute must. It's family run, so fresh, set menu and they just kind of bring it all out for you. They also tell you about the family history and they have the grandma's household items in there like a mini museum little creepy but also quite cool after visiting the romian amphitheater i went to the jordan heritage restaurant phenomenal and then the final activity in a man was visiting the roman citadel it is the center of the city and offers both a glimpse into jordan's ancient past as well as incredible views of the city even if you're not a history buff trust me visiting the citadel in a man is a must we got heavily rained on headed home to collect our stuff and then off we went to Petra. Thank you so much for watching this diary entry and I'll see you in the next one.